Today let's see how we can implement pull to refresh functionality in our Ionic 2 application. Before continuing, please visit the link present on your computer screen right now because we are using previous day code to Im and then implementing this refresh functionality on the same. It's a very short and useful tutorial by the way. So please visit it before continuing this. So this is our previous day video tutorial application. We enter some company name, hit add button and then to get the data back we need to refresh. In our real devices we need to close the application and then restart it to get the values back on the screen which is not ideal by the way. So here we shall pull implement pull to refresh functionality and then show the updated data on the screen. So for inside ionic content as a first child we need to write ion refresher once the user pulls the view that is the content area of the view uh, some method gets invoked we need to define that method by the way i'll call it do refresh so this pull event uh, emits some event which we send it to do refresh because it has a method called complete which collapses whatever is rendered by this ion refresher content tags i'll show about this ion refresher content shortly we have not yet defined do refresher so if we check it on the up in the application it throws some errors pull it so it close this error dialog so this is ion refresher content area it gets collapsed if we call complete method on this event we are passing to do refresh so let me go ahead and define do refresh method first it is passed with a refresher object uh, we can call it anything i'll just call it refresher let me cut this code and then place it inside do refresh method so once let me take this off to so refresher dot complete let me call complete method which collapses whatever is rendered by ion refresher content so there is no data here when we open the application once we pull this down and leave the data appears let me enter apple and add it pull to refresh the new content gets updated but the problem is once the app is loaded for the first time there is no data because we removed the code from constructor method so let me call this do refresher inside constructor and let me pass some value like zero zero doesn't have a method called complete so if refresher is not equal to zero that is this method is not called by constructor then call complete method so this gets executed only when do refresher is called from the view that is from this code because dollar event is not zero in that case call complete on refresher object so ref so reload the application yeah we have our data here so i'll enter google and add that pull to refresh and we have our data so look at this area that is the refresher content area we could even customize that by adding some attributes like uh, i'll show you by adding pulling text equals i can we can give anything i'll give pull to refresh something it needs to be something sensible to the end user by the way um, let me show it to you in the view pull it and we get the value here that is the text pull to refresh similarly we can add pulling icon 
I'll give an icon arrow hyphen drop down. It's a solid mm, uh, pyramid shaped icon. I can even give refreshing spinner. Let me give it circles. When the user pulls and leaves the content area, this spinner and refreshing text will be displayed until the complete method is called on the event or the data is being has been fetched and displayed on the screen so let me show it to you so this is it so this is how you customize the look and feel by the way if you don't mention any of these attributes on ion refresher content Ionic 2 will simply fetch the default icon and text, text values depending upon the operating system it is being operated on, on, that is being installed on. Please share this video with your friends on your social profiles like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, Reddit, Stack Overflow, etc. And stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.